Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Emily Valoran, and uh, I'll be presenting today on uh, the national benchmark tests, why we write them, when they are written, and options for writing them. Um, I'll be presenting first, and then I'll be assisted uh, with the registration process uh, by my colleague, Shlomo Makalani. So what are the national benchmark tests? The primary purpose of the MBT is to promote student success in higher education through the assessment of an applicant's academic readiness for university. So one should always remember that they complement and support rather than replace or duplicate the national senior certificate. So the MBTs are made up of three tests, academic literacy or AL, quantitative literacy or QL, and mathematics or MAT. The academic literacy and quantitative literacy parts are combined into one three hour multiple choice test. And mathematics is a separate test, also multiple choice, also three hours long. So what is AL, QL and maths? Academic literacy or AL measures a student's capacity to engage successfully with the demands of academic study in the medium of instruction in the higher education context. Quantitative literacy is the student's ability to solve problems of a quantitative nature in contexts relevant to higher education and mathematics or the MAT test is designed to assess competencies, i.e. depth of understanding or knowledge relevant to mathematically demanding disciplines. For example, the types, um, the types of mathematical operations that you would expect to meet in science courses. So what is the difference between the National Senior Certificate and the National Benchmark Test? When you write your, your, your NSC and you get your mark, that mark should reflect how well you've met um, the expectations of the curriculum statement. OK, so how well you've met the criteria as laid out in the NSC curriculum, whereas the MBT measures to what extent a school leaver who is applied to university in those three literacy areas is able to meet the demands of higher education study. OK, so the MBTs are criterion referenced. In other words, they're aimed at assessing student performance against standard levels of performance as regarded by experts in the field as being necessary to be successful in higher education. So how do institutions use an applicant's MBT scores? So the MBTs provide additional information to universities to help them make decisions about an applicant's access to university. So they are used by universities and specifically UCT. They are used in addition to, they don't replace your, your school leaving uh, NSC score. They're used in addition to um, provide information around your academic potential and where you are at a particular point in time. For certain faculties, for example, the health sciences at UCT, the MBT results make up a specific proportion of your overall admission score. The MBT results also may be an indicator for eligibility for an early offer. If you have a very high MBT score, they may consider you for an early offer or indeed for an entrance scholarship. And that also applies to uh, bursary um, organizations. Now, this is really where the, the MBT is most important for placement within the university. So that your MBT results will provide a guide to the university, to the courses that you're going into, to the course conveners, to the lecturers themselves. It will provide them information around whether you require additional support in order to be successful or indeed whether you would be best suited for entry into an extended degree program. On a cohort basis, i.e. for an entire class of students, it helps to provide information to lecturers and course conveners. Um, it provides them information around where their incoming students are, where their strengths are, where their uh, weaknesses are, 
and it allows them to be responsive to those needs through um, adapting the curriculum in order to uh, to, to help uh, fill, fill gaps where they may exist. So which MBTs must you write? The National Benchmark Test Pro, uh, Project and um, the Center for Educational Assessments, uh, which runs the project, does not determine which uh, tests you need to write, nor how the universities make use of those tests. So you need to look at the faculty information to check which tests you're required to write and what the deadlines are for the university to receive those MBT results. That's extremely important. Always check. The MBT AQL test is required for all programs that require MBT results and for uh, courses that require MBT, uh, MBT results. The AQL and maths tests are generally required for programs in commerce, health sciences and science. But again, I would like to reiterate, please do check with the faculty to which you're applying. So when will you write the MBTs? For the 2022 intake, the MBTs are available online as they were last year and at physical venues. Now this year, we've expanded the number of pencil and paper tests as, uh, as the regulations around uh, COVID have relaxed, we've been able to do that. So this year we have five online test dates and 20 pencil and paper test dates. This is the calendar. Now you will be able to find this calendar on our MBT website. So I'm not sure if you can read it clearly, but you will see there uh, highlighted in yellow. Those are the online test dates commencing 14th of May through the cycle with the last uh, online session on the 8th of October. And all of the rest, all of the other test dates are pencil and paper sessions with those um, in pink in uh, those are Sundays. OK, so you have lots of options as to when to write the MBT. But of course, which test form is going to suit you best, online or pencil and paper? Now, both test modes, whether they're online or pencil and paper, are equilibrated. That means that they are of the same standard. So they're equally difficult or easy, depending on how well you do. Um, however, pencil and paper test sessions pretty traditional. Normally completely unproblematic. Go into a test venue, you sit down, you get your paper and your answer sheet, you write it, you leave, and you will have an MBT um, test score. The online sessions are successful for 99% of writers. The vast majority of writers have a perfectly successful MBT session. However, the online environment can have issues. For example, you could be load shed during uh, a test session, which of course is going to invalidate your session. Or alternatively, you could have connectivity issues. Your internet could go down. Um, you could run out of cellular data. There really are um, some issues which are outside of our control, which may affect your test session. So I'm not trying to dissuade you from doing an online test session. What I am saying though is that should you choose to write the online form, please choose a test date earlier in the cycle rather than later. By doing that, if you are for any reason affected on the day, I mean your computer, you may it may hang, you may have some software issues. If you choose a, day, a date early enough, that's not going to be a problem. You'll be able to rewrite again, either pencil and paper or online and still meet um, the deadlines that are laid down by the universities to which you are applying. So let's have a quick look at what is required for each of those test modes. Uh, for the pencil and paper MBT session, you have a 7.30 check-in time, so that you need to be at the venue by 7.30. Currently, given the COVID uh, regulations, which are changing all the time, but currently you must wear a mask, you must social distance, and you must be free of COVID-19 symptoms. Of course, this is um, subject to change, and if there are any changes, we will put it on our website and we will notify you by email. I'd like to bring to your attention that at two of our pencil and paper venues, um, UWC, University of the Western Cape, and Rhodes University, they currently have vaccine mandates in place, which means that firstly, you will need to be vaccinated and you will need to bring your vaccine um, certificate with you to the venue. 
All of our other venues do not have vaccine mandates, so that is not a requirement. If that changes, you'll be notified. But that's unlikely given the way that uh, regulations are changing. You also need to bring your South African ID book or ID card or passport. You need to bring two sharpened pencils and an eraser. And if you're writing mathematics, please do bring uh, lunch and a refreshment. Online sessions, you're required to write a compulsory simulation prior to the test day. We're doing it slightly differently this year. We're providing more opportunity for writers to write the simulation. So registered writers will be able to access the simulation from the 24th of April. The online sessions are written in a secure, proctored online envir environment, which incorporates idea verification, um, artificial intelligence and human proctoring in background. Um, we have real time chat support during these test sessions, so if you have any issues while you're writing the test, um, we are available to help. Your computer will need to have the minimum equipment requirements, and in summary that includes a webcam. It must meet the minimum PC or laptop specs, and by that we mean it should be relatively modern. You should have access to stable internet. That's absolutely essential, and you must have sufficient data. I would like to stress that no mobile devices are permitted. And now I'd like to hand over to my colleague, Shlomulo, who will take you through the registration process and other support mechanisms that we have in place for writers. As my colleague um, mentioned about um, the two tests, now I'm going to take you on how to register, how to prepare the results and where can you get help. So please note that for you to register for the NBT, you require an official ID book. And if you're not a South African citizen, you will need to use your passport. Unique email address is advisable. What do you mean about unique email address? You will require to provide us with an email address that belongs to you because all communication regarding your registration results and the writing information will have to be sent to that email. You need to first look at the city and the site where you want to write. NBTA requirements from institution where you plan to apply. My colleague have already mentioned because of the COVID pandemic, institutions have different uh, requirements. Date where you want to write, allow at least four weeks for all institution to which you have to apply to receive your NBT results. Please ensure that you have pen and paper to record your username and easy pay number. Those are very important and you'll understand when we go to the next slides. Take a note of the following. The NBT project does not determine which test you must write. And these have been shared with you to say you have to look at the institution first and they will tell you the test you have to write between AQL only or AQL and METS. The username and easy pay number assigned to you is very important. You have to keep record of that number because that number is used to complete your registration if you started and you didn't finish. Correct your personal information into the system. Request change to test dates or sites. Verify payment. And when you have to communicate with us, we require that number because that's the number that we are able to get your information. So when you go to. When you go to our website, it will say uh, www.nbt.ac.za. You click on the book now. And that will take you to this where you have to include your personal information. So you do the registration when you say book now and please know that the username and the password that you, you put there, you have to understand that your username is going to be your ID number and the password is one that you create yourself. So now this is the personal information you have to put through. You'll automatically be registered for AQL because all NBT requires you to write AQL and the math depends on the institution and the qualification that you want to apply for. 
Uh, mathematics will be a choice, but AQL will be already be selected for you. Please select Africans or English in terms of language and be careful. Because if you choose Africans, your test will come in an Africans. If you choose English, your test will come in English. So be careful when you're choosing that. And here you'll choose the, uh, the region where you want to apply. And there are conditions that you have to click and this is the information to ensure that you agree that the registration for the NPT is specific to the date and location that you have selected. And you understand that the fee are non-refundable. And you understand that NBT project will release your score only upon request from the institution of high learning. And please note that the NBT use your results for research purposes. And for the mathematics, you have to select. And even here, be careful to ensure that the language that you choose is the language you're going to use to write. The region and the venue will be selected by you. And uh, if you look at down here, we have different dates for different venue. So select where the seat is available and the date that is suitable for you. Again, there are four conditions that you will have to agree to before you continue. After you have selected the test you are to write, please know that it will take you to this page. This page is the con conclusion of your registration. Ensure that you download your proof of registration as that will be required for you when you're paying. And the registration number, which now is your NPT reference number, will be on that registration fee. I'll, sh I'll show you now in the next slide. What do I need to pay at Easy Pay? So, as I've mentioned, that you need to download your proof of registration. Your proof of registration will look like this page in front of you right now. And the Easy Pay number is going to be up there which now becomes your NBT reference number. You take this, you go to this, you take this and you go to the Easy Pay uh, partners to pay. And please know you can even do FET and all our details are on our website. May I change my test date? You may change the test date, but ensure that you change the date or their venue before the last day to register to register online. So the days that have been circled here, um, I'll give example about the 14th May, which is the next month uh, online test session, is closing on the 24th of April. And we open the registration on the 1st of April. So if you have already started the registration and have completed however you want to change to the 25th of June, you can do so before the 25th of April, 24th of April. After that, nothing will, the system will never allow you to change. And please note, if you miss the session, you will be required to pay full amount and you'll be required to pay for the next session that you'll be registering for. So the user account, after you've registered, this is the, this is the page you'll go back to for to access your results or to make changes. And um, when now you want to make changes, we'll take you to this page. Please note that your username is your ID number or the passport number. The password is the one that you have created. If you forget your password, we advise you to communicate with us by emailing the NBT help desk, which will show the, I'll give you the date, the details at the end, and they'll be able to assist you with the password. Rest, uh, restarting your password. So when you go into the system, it will give you this page. And on this page, it will ask you to edit details or cancel. So if it's to edit the details, here it might find that maybe your ID number is not correct, or you might find that maybe your contact details are not correct. You can still change the details. When it comes to the test, it will, it will change only if the test date still allow you to change that. And you can cancel the test before the test date as mentioned previously. What if I haven't paid 
for my test. Please note that if you have been paid for your test, you are allowed to write the NBT. However, you won't be able to access your results until the outstanding fee is paid based on the test that you wrote. However, the institutions will be able to get your results and we encourage you to do the payment as early as possible when you have the opportunity to do so to access your result. How should I prepare and study for the NBT? On our website, we have put exemplary test questions. These are just exemplary questions to show you how the NBT tests are being set and to assist you in preparation for the test. So you can download them. We have the AQL, the MET. This is the AQL example that you will find when you download on our website. You can go through it. Uh, you have the quantitative literacy. This is how it's going to look like. Uh, quantitative literacy is more of a lit liter mathematics literacy that you do in high school now. And we have the math test. So all these questions are available to be downloaded on our website. How many times may I write the NBT? The NBT office only allows you to write twice. And please note that all the, 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 the tests that are registered are paid for. So both tests are to be paid. We encourage you to check with the institution if they will take the second score, because not all the institution take the second score. Should I write as late as possible in the year? We encourage that you check with the institutions which you want to apply for, the closing date of the application. And please know that the NBT doesn't provide disadvantage and disadvantage, disadvantage and advantage on when to write. So you can write early in the year, you can write late in the year because it's not based on the curriculum of your metric. So we encourage you to look at the institutional website and the requirements and the closing date so that you can be able to choose the date that is suitable for your NBT to be accessed by the institution upon application. What is the NBT postmark? So the NBT doesn't have a postmark. The NBT provides scores. As you could see on the screen, we've got proficient, intermediate, and basic. So that's how your scores are being interpreted. And that's how the university interpret your scores. So proficient, it means if your score plays you in the proficient category, this means that you will be able to cope with the demands of tertiary study program without needing extra academic support. If you are an intermediate, it tells us it tells us that it isn't expected that you will face challenges in your academic performance in university and you will need academic support. And if you score basic, you are seen to be unprepared for the university study. So that's how your NBT scores are being interpreted. Where can I get help? So the NBT has different platform where you can get help. The first one, so the first one is the NBT help desk, which is open weekdays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on the test date, which is weekends between 7 and 10 a.m. The contact details are on the screen and the email address is nbt at uct.ac.za. You are welcome to contact the NBT office during this time. You can contact us on the NBT web, uh, Facebook. You can ask the same questions that you want to ask on the NBT help desk and we are able to communicate with the NBT help desk to assist you. We are available on Twitter. You can find us on Twitter. You can ask questions on our Twitter page. You will be assisted too. And please note, 
If you register for the NBT online, we do offer additional support, as my colleague have mentioned, to some of the challenges that we have learned for the past two years of the NBT online. And one of the support that we do is to have a Q&A sessions. We will have one, and please check out on our social media website for the announcements of the date of when the Q&A session will take place. We do have our YouTube channel where we play, we put videos of how to download the lockdown browser, how to prepare for the test in terms of the online platform. So for more information, you can check this on our YouTube. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you very much for attending and all the information of how to reach us is on the screen. Thank you.